What's up, guys? So today I have a guide for you. Uh, so this update was yesterday, last night, um, and it's so it's it's a little new, it's a little fresh. So that's probably the perfect time to be making a guide. This is Panucci's Pizza, the newest mini game. So in order to get there, go to mini games, second page, Panucci's Pizza. The requirements are pretty simple. You need 50 cooking, and uh, roughly one mil of cash. If you're a brand new player and you had the 250k in the starter, that'll probably work. You'll you'll make more money. Especially in the process of getting 50 cooking, I assume you'll just make money through fishing and stuff like that. But you don't need too much, r roughly around a mil. So to start off, speak with Mr. Panucci. Ask questions. Uh, for the first time, I'd say read the dialogue if you're interested. And then, you know, just pretty much spam forward. If you're wondering why there isn't quicker options, that's just all a part of it. Everything is done on purpose. So <laughs> just keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, we're going to get a delivery order. There are six possible routes. I will go over all six of them and the requirements. Um, so you just read it, deliver to Garfield Catherby, and the order is 20 anchovy peaches. So we need to make 20 anchovy peaches. He sells all of the supplies. How you make a pizza, you start off with the pizza base, add a tomato, add cheese. You'll get something like this. Let me show you. And then you have an uncooked pizza, cook the pizza, and you will get a plain pizza. If you want to make an anchovy, take the plain pizza and add one anchovy to it. If you want to make a meat pizza, take the plain pizza and add a cooked chicken to it. If you want to make a pineapple pizza, add a pineapple chunk to a plain pizza. So you need plain pizzas for pretty much everything. If you did want to go the route of farming, which is an, uh, it's, it's a very good idea. In my experience, there's really two true trains of thought. Make every order as is, or um, just make a bunch of plain pizzas and stock up on stuff. Um, there's either or, which, whichever suits your play style. But... Uh, we're gonna make uh, some of these just so I don't lose track of how many we're doing. Um, what I like to do when I get this order or something similar because the highest amount you can possibly get um, and to deliver is 20. So you'll, you'll be always roughly in the same boat. Um, Ultimate Iron Man can do this this mini game, but it, you know having having a lot of inventory spaces helps. So you know just plan your Ultimate Iron Man accordingly. But uh, just do it like this, and you are getting cooking HP. Actually, I don't think you do for this recipe exactly. Um, but when you actually start cooking it, and then you add the final ingredients, you do. We'll drop that cheese, and we will get nine of you, and proceed. So there is a range right here. Don't close the door like a dummy. You can cook the pizzas. So wait for the pieces to be cooked. After you have the the pizzas cooked, you can add your anchovies. Again, this is where you start to see the XP gains. And then you do get extra XP at the end of of the whole thing, so don't worry about that. Uh, so now that I have ten made, you can talk to the chef's assistant here, and they will note the pizzas for you. You need to have all the pizzas noted when you turn them in. So make sure you know that, and then do the same thing. You can make another ten. All right, so we have the last ten made. Note them, and then we will proceed. So go to Catherby. Best way to get there is don't do what I'm doing: skilling teleport, and then wood cutting. There is actually two per, uh, two routes here. The other route can be found in the castle, but I'll show you that when we get to it. Uh, make your way to Catherby. I'll just I'll, sh I'll show you just because. Um, believe it or not, there are some people that just don't know <laughs> where Catherby is. Um, also, Garfield is a cat. It is a reference to the uh, comic book cat. Can you call those comic books? I guess so, because they're comics, right? Um, so he doesn't have a yellow thing on the map because he is a cat. So he is in this house here. You can speak to him. If you have everything he, that he needs, he will give you a reward. If you talk to a NPC involved in this and they don't have a good response, that generally means you do not have all the materials. So double check and make sure that you have the correct pizzas and um, make sure you also have your order form with you. So this is our first reward. Nice. A nice and powerful gnome scarf. Very stylish. Okay. So as mentioned, there are six possible routes. We will go through all of them. The first route is to Sir Lancelot in Camelot Castle. To get there, go to Skilling Teleport, Woodcutting, and then run east towards the castle. Go through the gates, and I will show you from there. 
plush has 88 rewards, so he should be getting something good. So go through the gates, go to the east side, he is outside, not inside. And this one is very simple, there's no real shenanigan, just hand him in. And you are good to go for the reward. So the second delivery is order to Toro, Ardo, and Monastery, five plain pizzas, three pineapple pizzas. Let's go to the monastery. The best way to get there is use the command colon colon and effigy. It's getting getting a ton of stuff. Nothing crazy. I suppose I should probably make it so that mystery box doesn't yell because it's not even rare. Same with the Robin Hood hat. Neither of those are rare. They're common, um, and they're yelling a lot. So I might have to worry about that. So this is where he would normally be, and next to the firing patch. But if you notice, there is a monk here. Uh, let's talk to him instead. If you talk to him, you find out that they took Toro. The pirates took him to Port Kazard, so let's make our way to Port Kazard. Um, if you already knew that step, you could just go directly to Port Kazard, but um, I figured I would show that just because um, there's been some confusion about that, exactly how it was supposed to work. Um, I, I, the, 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 the idea behind it came from, from that the fact that I was going to use that specific NPC, Toral, and then I googled him and found out that that's where he's supposed to be, because I knew I wanted him to be near a farming patch. Um, so I just assume people would, would either do the same as me, Google it, or would already know, but they don't. They don't do either. They don't Google, they don't know. So if you come here, you actually find him, and when you talk to him, you find out that uh, the pirates will release him if he gets pizza. So you've, you've saved his life, essentially, by delivering these pizzas. Um, the next order is Garfield and Catherine, which we saw. We'll skip that one. Um, the fourth order is to Rants and Felda Pills, uh, ten meat pizzas, and one paddle pizza. Uh, the best way to get there is there's, there's probably multiple ways to get there. I don't know if the Felda Pills teleport is faster, but um, considering how most people are going to get there, I'll just show you that route. So go to Yanil and then start going south as so. And here he is. Speak with him. Um, he, I'm missing something. Oh, I don't have any meat pizzas. Right. With the correct pizzas, touch them again, and you will receive your reward. Nice, powerful Robin Hood. Uh, so delivery route five is to Icy Wiener, Ice Mountain. Best way to get there is to go to Edgeville. If you have an Explorer's backpack or the polymyth cape you can teleport directly to the ice mountain and then from that teleport just go directly south but considering a lot of newer players aren't going to have those items i'm just going to show you the walking route so go to edge and proceed Here he is. Just speak with him, and boom, reward. Ooh, three whips. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. It's funny, a lot of the weird... Like, I, I really gotta adjust the yells on these, because... Um, some stuff that just you think would yell doesn't. Stuff that shouldn't yell does. Um, so the last delivery order is to Jane Doe, Frickin' Strains Castle, 20x Pineapples. Let's make our way there. So to get there, go to Canifus, via the City Teleport Teleport, and proceed.
So once here, just proceed through the doors. Except for the fact that when you click the doors, you find out it is a trap and multiple feral vampires come to kill you. Um, they're supposed to be in different locations, but for some reason they aren't. Once you kill one, you get the reward, so you could technically leave if you wanted to. Um, boo. Um, boo. So thanks for watching. That is it. That is as simple as it goes. I will have a video tomorrow that will showcase all of the potential loots. So if you have any suggestions, any recommendations, any any comments, anything you think can make the minigame better, let me know.